Now that we've heard about the restaurant from owner Mark Parker, let's have our Business Beat reporter Meredith McCunes take us over to the grand opening of the Chick-fil-A over in Shoppers World for a tour and perhaps a little taste. We are here at the new Chick-fil-A owned by Mark Parker, who is hoping to offer good food, good job opportunities, and much more. We are hiring. We've already hired 70. We're hiring another 40 to fully staff our restaurant. We're hiring part-time and full-time positions. We offer very competitive wages. We offer Sundays off, very flexible schedules, understanding that today's uh, folks are involved in a lot of other activities. We, we're flexible to that. We offer school scholarships as well. Chick-fil-A is known to be a healthier option in the fast food spectrum. All of our chicken is white meat. Um, it's all hand breaded, um, so never pre-breaded, anything of that nature. We have both grilled and pressure cooked products. Uh, we also do most, the mass majority of all of our salads in prep in-house, so lettuce, tomatoes, all that kind of stuff is made fresh daily, as well as our biscuits are hand rolled and made throughout the day. This restaurant is a Heritage Vinches design. Um, behind us is actually a Coke bottle chandelier. Um, True Kathy, when he first started Chick-fil-A, even before Chick-fil-A, had a great relationship with Coke. His first job when he was five years old was actually selling Coca-Cola bottles out of his um, wagon going around the neighborhood. Along with serving food, Chick-fil-A hopes to be a great community partner. Yes, um, since we arrived on ground here and started construction, I made a quick alignment with Kristen at the United Way of Tri-County. And as part of that, uh, we wanted to do something that would support youth in the area. And we agreed that this was a great partnership. So this is the Ready to Read program that is uh, managed by United Way, United Way Tri-County. And we're collecting books, both new and gently used books. And these books will go to local communities and neighborhoods in the area that don't have easily or readily available literature and reading material for youth. For the Business Beat, I'm Meredith McCunis.